What's up everyone, FFDev here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up SDL3 on Windows the easy way without CMake or none of that crap. So, first thing I did was I created a brand new project in Visual Studio. So now I'm going to click on show all files here in the top right hand corner. So you can see there's nothing in here. So I'm going to right click on that, I'm going to go to add a new folder. I'm just doing this to keep everything nice and clean. I'm going to put this folder at source. I'm going to right click and then add another folder there. And I'm just going to call this frameworks. But then I'm going to right click on frameworks folder. I'm going to add a new folder called lib. I'm going to right click on frameworks again add a new folder called include and the reason I'm doing it this way is so once we leak it it'll make linking other libraries a lot easier so first things first you're gonna wanna um, go to this website I'll link it in the description you're gonna wanna download the SDL3 like if you're using Visual Studio SDL3 devil 3.2.16 VC and I'll refresh it to show you something this page so when you originally get here you're not going to see it. You're going to have to click on this show all ass assets here. And then you'll see it. Make sure you download the VC one. And I've already downloaded it. So now I'm going to pull up where I have it downloaded and I've already extracted it. What I'm going to do is this SDL here. I'm going to go inside this include folder. I'm going to right click it where it says SDL3. That's inside the include folder for where we download it. Copy it. To minimize this for now. Now I'm going to right click on the include folder here that we created in our project. I'm going to put open folder and file explorer. Now I'm just going to paste the SDL3. Now I'm just going to leave this open and go back to the frameworks folder where we can see lib. And now I'm going to go back to our SDL folder we downloaded. I'm going to go inside lib and because you see where my mouse is up here where it says x64, I'm using x64. Is what I'm doing mine 64 bit. If you're using 8 or x86, which is 32 bit, then use the x86 folder. But since I'm going to be using this, the 64 bit, I'm going to go inside here, go right click, copy all these files. Now I can just close this, go inside my lib folder, which is inside of the frameworks folder we created, and just paste. All right. So we got most of the stuff done. Now, what we need to do, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, do now is I'm going to right click here on my name of my project. I'm going to click on Add New Item. I'm just going to create, the, create a main function, main.cpp. So I'm just going to go ahead and put include, just as I always do. If I can spell it, IO stream, just so I can print some stuff. And then I'm going to put in int main. And we're going to have to take a few more parameters. This time in our main, we usually don't. Let me go ahead. I'm just going to put return zero because I always do that here. But when using SDL, oh, let me put this down here. I'm going to take uh, int, or no, it's a const char. Let me actually double check this on my other project. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. So I'm just going to look on my other one. Look at the main function in my real big project I'm doing. All right, so it takes in an int argc and then char pointer argv. Just like this. If you have to pause it, that's fine. I'm just going to copy it. Paste it in there. Let me make sure I get that. There we go. So you have to put these parameters inside your main function for SDL to work properly. But before we can get to work properly, we're going to want to right click right here on the right side of our project name. Go to properties. Now under C, C++ here, general, we're going to make sure you're on all configurations at the top of my platforms for x64. Make sure you're on the right platform. Now under additional include libraries, I'm just going to go to Click this to create a new one. Now we're going to put the dollar sign and in parentheses, just like I'm putting it, capital S, solution, dir. 
like that, capital DR. Now I'm just gonna put frameworks right after it and then slash include. Go ahead and apply that. Now we'll go to linker, general, additional library directories. We're gonna do the same thing here nearly, except we're gonna put um, the dollar sign, solution, dir, frameworks, slash lib. Because our li library files are in there and apply. And I actually think that I messed up here. So we'll go back to C++ general, edit. Oh, never mind. I put include there. All right, so we're good. All right, so now we did that. We'll have our frameworks and libs included. We got to do one more thing under input. Go to a, under linker here. Go to input. And go to additional dependencies and type in just like this SDL3 dot lib. Now click on apply. Now, if everything worked correctly, now we still make it an error at first. You should be able to type in SDL3, see like that, SDL.h. Let me go ahead and build the project. And while it ran fine, now if we click this refresh button, we're going to see we have an x64 folder or x86 and debug folder. What you want to do is copy this SDL3 uh, DLL file that's in your lib folder and inside your debug folder. There, we're just going to paste that in. Now, whenever you create a project, like you just have to paste that. Like if you do it in release mode, you'll have to paste that, the SDL3 DLL in there. And it should work perfectly fine. Now that you've done this, let's see. Let me see. SDL init. Just going to do some test code. So now you just type it in like this. If not SDL init SDL video, we're just going to use our IO stream. That way we can just put uh, error initting, error initting. SDL3. And we'll just do like that. So that way if it doesn't work, we'll know. And see, since it didn't run that, that means SDL is set up correctly and that's how you get the framework set up. And I hope this video helped you. This is the easy way to set up SDL3. Quick, simple. A lot simpler than using all that CMake stuff, but... Yeah, I hope this can help somebody get started with SDL3 and get their project underway. If you guys like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment what you want to see. And this is for my Road to Software Engineer 2025 playlist course. Uh, if you're interested in that on how to be a software engineer, be sure to join uh, my Discord. And um, I'll have the link to the SDL uh, release page below and my Discord. So thank you guys, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. All right, goodbye.